What's up guys, welcome to Poland's Garage, welcome to another video. So in today's video we're going to be working on Justin's Accord over here, which we're going to be replacing the thermostat as well as the radiator because the radiator cracked on his way to work today. So we're going to flip the camera around and show you exactly what happened. Alright guys, so as you can see this is the Accord, this is the 3.0 VTEC engine and this is the radiator that we're going to be replacing because today on this way to work, the hose snap or the neck filling snap and uh, that should fluid everywhere so let's get into work you must start talking to us what we're gonna be doing first or what uh basically you're just gonna start by disconnecting some of this stuff around here uh undo these these pull up and then the radiator should come out i think there is some lines down there for the automatic transmission but uh once we get lower then we'll let you know all right let's get into work all right guys so just a quick update to make it as quickly as possible and as easy for you so as you see we removed the uh sh the the fan shield and uh they're right here so for the fan shields you only have one two three and four bolts from the top they're all 10 millimeter bolts so they're pretty easy to uh take out and once you do this you have to unclip your wires on this side this plug as well as this one and you know, want to unplug this one first. This is the one on the driver's side or the left car, left side on the car. And you want to slide this one out first. So this one is a plastic one. It's, uh, it's the one that's easier to slide out. This one is the second one. This is the metal one. And on this one, you will want to remove pins. There are pins holding the wires right here, right here, and right here. So there will be three uh, spaces where you want to remove wires. There are those push clips, so you just squeeze them with needle nose pliers and they slide out. And the very bottom one is just slid in there, so you just pull on the plug and it slides out as well. And uh, after this, Justin's preparing some. If you don't have essentially storage for your fluid, yeah, this, this, was, I didn't, this was full, I didn't know it was full. So. so that's why we have to do this. But I'm gonna just show you really quickly because you will also have to remove this underpan. And to remove the underpen, it's all clips essentially. You have one, two, three, and then three on the other side, the exact same three on the other side. And then you have one and two over here. So you have eight already. And then there is this one right here in the wheel wall. So there's two on each side. So you have uh, 10 clips total. They're all like plastic clips. So you just use poppers to pop it out. And then on the actual underneath shield itself, there's two more clips. They're smaller that go in here. So one here and one right there on the exit other side. So there is a complete total of 12 that you have to remove and you will have to remove the uh, underneath underbelly. And then you have a peacock over here that Justin is taking out right now. If it's even got any fluid left in it. Yeah, because the engine is obviously running and it was hot. So uh, it drained a lot of the fluid on the freeway once the holes blow up. But if so, if you need to drain yours, this is the peacock that you want to loose up. And you want to have some sort of container like this contraption right here, I guess. To, uh, Preferably probably not this, but... Probably not this, but if you have to, you have to. Also, what I forgot to mention, you have the two main things that hold the uh, radiator on the top. And it goes over the radiator like this and it bolts right here, which is a 10 millimeter as well. So all you do is just do the 10 millimeter and this slides but, right out. But, he's forgetting something. This little thing goes in there first. So that little, little pin goes in there first. Yeah. Okay. And, and then if your car is an automatic, uh, there will be uh, two lines for the trans cooler. Which are also 10 millimeter. We're gonna show you those in a second. Yes. You also wanna make sure the hard, the, not hard afraid, the auto zone, a radiator doesn't come with a new cap, it comes without it, so you want to make sure you save your old cap and don't and damage this it. this is why you do coolant flushes. It's not bad at all. That's black. It's fine. All right, guys, so as you can see, the radiator is out. This is the old radiator. So you have to disconnect that hose, which is just a hose claim. You use pliers for it, and you slide this uh, hose off. Then you have those two brackets right here that are mounts for the... Uh, automatic transmission cooler and uh, they bolt into here and into here in those fittings and this we use uh, I believe 3 fourth, right a 3 fourth wrench that we use to disconnect it yes. yeah so a 3 fourth wrench and there were those two hoses right here 
one right here and there is one right here so this is the ones that go in here and the hose bracket is just mounted by uh two 10 millimeter bolts once again and uh just like this you can slide the radiator out also we are uh, replacing thermostat we're planning on replacing the thermostat as well so for the thermostat housing you have to you probably don't have to but it's gonna make your life way 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 easier remove the battery and remove the box the air box which is this is the air box this is also a good time to check your air filter to see if it's clean or not but then your uh, thermostat housing is on this side right here and you only have two bolts you have two 10 millimeter socket bolts that hold the whole thermostat and just slides right out you can remove the uh, hose that goes to the lower radiator part but uh you don't have to as you see we just moved it away it was kind of a pain because on the top bolt you can use a socket with a wrench coming with the longer extension coming from here but for the lower one we the best solution the easiest one for you make yourself a favor if you don't have one get a ratcheting wrench just go you can just buy a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench if you don't want to buy the whole set because it's such a tight spot in there you have to get from it from behind you have to hold this hose down there this one so it's easier for you to like have someone else who can hold the hose for you up and then you can barely have like maybe this much room to ratchet in there so make yourself a favor and get yourself a ratcheting wrench because you i don't think you can really fit a socket in there with a regular wrench and it's gonna make your life much easier and then you simply pop it off take the old thermostat out put a new one in put a new gasket and you're good to go obviously the installation is the reverse of the mounting or, or installation is the reverse of the removal all right guys so as you can see everything is back in the car you can see this brand new radiator we put the thermostat housing back together it wasn't as hard like putting it together i guess as i was figuring out how to take it out because realistically there's just those two bolts there's the gold the little gold one right there that you can see right here and then there's the other one from the from the back that you want to use the ratcheting wrench besides that everything went smoothly everything lines perfectly obviously because you know it's a dual last but it's oh essentially an oem replacement uh radiator so uh everything is straightforward most of the uh, oh the only thing we had to replace the original hose here for some reason it wouldn't grip very well so we just replaced it with this hose uh, the hose clamps i mean but besides that literally essentially every single bolt yeah not even essentially, like literally every single one of those like bolts that go there they were uh 10 millimeters so they were super easy the one on the uh housing on the thermostat housing were 10 millimeter as well all the fan shroud bolts are 10 millimeter all the clips everything clips perfectly together so it was a really easy job on like a if you have any sort of mechanical knowledge on like a scale from what, like one to ten this was what like three yeah that's about it just a lot of stuff you have to take out but that's about it but there's literally everything is held by 10 millimeter bolts and like the plastic shroud is held by just clips plastic clips so i was trying to show you because we have a clip popper that could come in handy for you in this job but i'm not sure where we put the clip popper but uh yeah so this is it do you want to mention anything else really quickly or no uh when we when uh sorry when you go to add coolant add it until it fills up to the top here start the car and it'll start bubbling just keep adding until it stops bubbling and the level stays the same make sure it's at full temp let it just run and run and run until you can be positive there's no more bubbles just top the overflow off and then go and drive it make sure it doesn't overheat and make sure if it doesn't gauge, leak yeah also that make sure the gauge doesn't go like this real quick because that means you have air in the system if there is just pop the cap back off make sure it's cool though because you don't want it spraying out and just let it bubble out top off and yeah it's pretty basic we should also mention this will be see a honda accord older honda accord but this is a radiator job so it's essentially the, not the same obviously but it's very similar on any other vehicle especially around this era yeah especially around this era so it's not only for a honda accord it's for realistically any other car that from that era that you're gonna be replacing it so save yourself some money get yourself radiator by yourself at autozone with lifetime warranty and do it yourself all right guys so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a like subscribe stay tuned see you next time let us know in the comments the video was helpful or not or if you have any more questions just drop it down in the comments down below have a good one